वेलकम माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम फॉर किवी ट्यूशन अकेडमी इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ चार्ज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ओके सो देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ चार्ज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दे आर रोयल लाइन चार्ज डेंसिटी रोयस सर्फेस चार्ज डेंसिटी and the third one rho v volume charge density so how we define rho l for example in a line there are lot of charges are distributed in a particular line okay then what is the density of this line what is the charge density of this line is nothing but we are defining it as rho l line charge density charge per unit length that is dq divided by dl how many charges are there in this particular line is known as line charge density this line comprises of how many charges is known as line charge density okay so charge per unit length is known as line charge density then how do you define the unit of this line charge density we all know what is the unit of charge q yes coulomb per what is the unit of length we can say in meters so coulomb per meter this is nothing but line charge density by definition how you can say charge per unit length is known as line charge density in the unit of line charge density is coulomb per meter yes next we are going to see about surface charge density rho s surface charge density rho s how we are going to define this charge per length is known as line charge density similar to that charge per surface is known as surface charge density see here i am going to consider a sheet here i am going to consider a sheet okay it's a surface nothing but it's a surface it consists consist of lot of charges the charges were distributed in the sheet like this okay so how we are going to define that surface charge density this particular surface consists of how many charges it comprises how many charges is known as surface charge density charge per surface is known as surface charge density that's all so what is the unit of surface charge density we know that unit of the charge is nothing but coulomb per unit of surface how we define the surface in meter squared otherwise square meter both are same so the unit of the surface is meter square so coulomb per meter square the unit is right and the last one we are going to see is volume charge density that is rho v so how we can define this yes charge per unit volume is known as volume charge density see here i'm going to consider a cylindrical shape here i'm going to consider a cylinder which consists of lots of charges inside it so what does mean by volume charge density this particular volume comprises of how many charges this volume v comprises comprises of how many charges inside it is known as volume charge density charge per volume see here volume charge density is nothing but charge per volume similar to that surface charge density is charge per surface similar to that line charge density is charge per length that's all about different types of charge distributions see here what is the unit of volume charge density it's nothing but charge per meter cube because it's a volume okay so this all about volume charge density surface charge density and line charge density in charge uh, density it comprises of three types of charge distributions are there line charge distribution surface charge distribution and volume charge distribution right okay and the last one i'm going to teach you is if you are having dq in your hand dq 
dq is equal to c from this particular formula how can i define dq you, you just want to cross multiply this dl here then what is the value of dq dq is equal to rho l into dl that's i'm going to write here okay dq is equal to rho l dl that's all okay if i want to find particular charge i want to find charge q from this formula means what i want to do yes i want to i want to integrate on both sides because i want to cancel this differentiation that i want what i want to do is i want to take integration on both sides so integration of dq is equal to integration of rho l dl this differentiation integration get cancel finally you will get q is equal to integration of rho l dl from this we can also able to find charge okay thank you my dear students if you want to give your suggestions means please leave your suggestions after watching this video we can improve by your suggestions your suggestions are much more valuable to us thank you thank you for watching my dear students take care